welcome back to Craft with Norma. This is going to be part two of the mini envelope book. So I've made the book and I've just used five of these small envelopes. Uh, they're approximately three and a half by, uh, sorry, three and a quarter by four and a half. So I've glued them all together and I've gone and cut down some papers um, that I'm using uh, to just start the decoration on them. Now the pad that I'm using is the patina from uh, Funky Fossils. Ignore that information because that's wrong because it says 6x6 six six, but the pad is actually 8x8. Eight eight. But I bought these uh, from a crafting fair and he did explain to me that the um, uh, the sizes and the weight of the paper was wrong so they were re reduced but that's the papers that um, I'm going to use. So first off uh, I've cut the papers down to size and I'm just going to glue these now onto the, um, the envelopes. So I prefer to use a wet glue rather than um, any other form of glue because I'm trying to do my work so it will last because I have found sometimes if you're using uh, a different format of glue it can actually uh, fall apart after a, a period of time. Let me just uh, glue on this book, there we go, so we don't get uh, glue on the backing paper. So with this glue that I'm using at the moment is my husband's um, wood glue that I found in his, um, in his shed. Um, so I just wanted to use it up before it uh, dries out because um, uh, unfortunately I lost my husband back in 2019 so um, it won't get used on any wooden product, pro projects by myself so uh, I thought I would actually use it up and I know you wouldn't mind. There we go. wipe it down with a, a cloth, there we go, and then to the next one. So as I say I went to this uh, craft fair and um, locally to, uh, to ourselves and uh, I did make a huge mistake, I wanted some um, Versa, sorry, Versa Fi and by mistake I bought Versa Mark, which was totally not what I wanted, but uh, never mind. Uh, and I did pick up a few other bits and pieces. And it was nice also to meet up with some um, crafting buddies that I hadn't seen for a little while. So I'm sure you don't want to see me carrying on gluing right the way through. So I'll do this piece and then I'll whiz on and uh, we'll carry on. There we go. But it's just a, a quick way to make a little book uh, and it's so easy using the uh, the envelopes. So you can either make it into a little mini journal, a little mini book. There's so many things you can utilise it for. It can go into projects, it can be a project on its own right um, as well. So. Uh, on my sister channel, Crafted by Norma, I've used the larger envelopes to make um, a junk journal. Okay, so I'll see you back in uh, in a minute. Right, okay, so I'm back. I'll just move these papers out of the way as well. So what I've gone and done now is backed all of them right the way through. Oh, I've missed one. <laughs> what am I like? Oh, let me just cut another one. Right, I'll be back in a second. Right, so we've done all of those now and what I'm going to want to do is a cover for it to um, sew it into. So what I've gone and done is measured out a piece of craft card so that it will fit in there quite snugly. So with these measuring, 
So that measures three and a quarter by four and a half. I've measured this out at just under seven and a half inches by four and three quarters of an inch. And I've also marked and bent, folded the paper using half an inch there to give me a little bit of a There we go, a little bit of a spine, because once we filled it out, I don't want it to be um, too sort of crocodile. So that's what I've gone and done, just made sure that it's all nice and level. And then I've cut a strip from the scrap to fit into there, which we'll now just glue in. So we'll just glue that in. And this just gives the, whoops, this just gives the um, spine of the book just a little bit of uh, more strength. So we'll slot that into that little gap there. So that's just a half of an inch scrap that I've used. And we'll just burnish that in with the... There we go. And hey presto, we've got our little, our little spine done there. Okay, so just while that's drying, I'm going to just clip that on there so it, while it dries. And then I had a look through my stash to see what bits I'd got, just to decorate the front. And I've cut out a while back um, some squares and rectangles for another project. So what I've gone and done is cut down and measured and made sure it was all nice and straight, just a piece of it and um, got that set, got that ready and all I want to do really is just trim around those corners so I'm just going to use my little corner punch and go around the corners like so Ooh, oh I just haven't got strength in this thumb anymore oh there we go I'll try and keep it so it doesn't ping everywhere And I'm going to want to put that onto the the front cover and then I can slide in a photo or a uh, whatever that I want on the front cover. So next what I'm going to do is go round the edge on this with some distress inks. Just like that, just to give it a bit of, a bit of shading. Not too much, just a, a little tiny bit round the edges. Now this looks really, really tatty and old, um, and it's getting very, uh, what's the word for it? Uh, grubby, I suppose, would be the word. Um, but I do like using it, and it was uh, an egg makeup sponge that I got from the pound shop. I cut it in half, and I just like using this uh, this end of it. Uh, and the beauty of it is that if I'm, if I want to, I can moisten that, and I still reactivate the uh, distress inks, which is uh, is quite good. There we go. Just want to just distress that just a little bit. Okay, so I'm quite happy with that, and that's going to fit onto the front there. And then while that's still drying, I'm just going to trim around the edges of the uh, book cover as well. I just think it makes it look a little bit more professional, if I could call myself that. Uh, but I just like the uh, the end result. Oop. There we go. And we can take these two off like that, and then I can go around the. Uh, there, go around the edges again. Just like that. Now, I, loads of people use different ways of uh, distressing, but uh, you'll just find your own particular way of doing it. Some people use those, um, they're, like, they're like very, very fine brushes, makeup brushes. Uh, or they might use 
one of the finger dabber things. But uh, this is my preferred way of, uh, of doing it. And as I say, you can sometimes reactivate the, sp the sponge uh, because most of the distress inks are actually water-based. Uh, you just get your, I suppose, your money's worth uh, from it. So, yeah, so I'm quite quite happy with, uh, with that now. And all I'm going to do is just glue that onto the front. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue it just along the sides there so I can slot um, something in when we uh, decorate it. So just coming down like that and along and up, along there and just along there just to give it a little bit of a base. There we go. Ooh. I don't want too much glue on that, uh, that edge there. Now I always eyeball, I don't sort of measure. There we go. And then we can decorate that up um, later on. Now the next thing I'm going to want to do is get ready to actually put my signature in. So what I'm going to do here is just quickly a quick measurement of using the ruler there and come in and do a spot there and then come in with my ruler again and do a little spot there and then about halfway I'm going to go there like that and then I'm going to use my punch to just punch out three of the holes So, I'm just making sure that you know where the top is and I'm just going to draw a little tiny T there to remind myself that's the top one and I'm then going to get my envelope book and I'm just going to just measure making sure that I've got a little tiny lip here and a little tiny lip that side and just put a little a little mark of where we're going to want to sew that in okay now before we do that what I want to do or what I'd like to do is go along and make pockets so that's quite easy to do uh, I'm going to do a middle a top a middle and a top which is quite easy to do so I'm going to punch out like that on that one and then on this one I'm going to do the same but use on the top and again I'm just eyeballing roughly where the halfway mark is So, and then I'm going to use a craft knife to actually open that seam up. So with this, please, please, please be careful if you're using a craft knife um, or a Stanley knife, because uh, the last thing you need is to have uh, an accident where you cut yourself, and you just want to go along like that. So then you've got a pocket. 
and you do the same again. Just like that. And then you've got five pockets with your envelope that you can uh, add bits and pieces to. sure I need to go back to the uh, opticians. Got nothing at all to do with the old age of course. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so we've now got the pockets. And we've got the marks, which aren't particularly very clear. But making sure that your little cutouts there are on the top. And we'll cut those out with the... Uh, Try and get it on the seam if you can, because it just helps with your sewing it in. There we go. And all we're going to do now is just use a, again just making sure the top ones, yes it is, uh, just use some twine which I've got there and I normally do it uh, I go one two three and a bit it's usually uh, ample and we're just going to pamphlet stitch that in let me just close this down so I don't do myself any damage there we go and it's quite an easy um, stitch to do so we're going to start in the middle, so you take your needle and you're going to start in the middle. Now if you wanted to have the tags coming out that side, which I might just do just to show you, we're going to start in the middle on the outside. So you start in the middle on the outside, you then get your little book and you're going to come through the middle hole. So that's middle to middle. Then we're going to go to the bottom hole. And we're going to find the bottom hole there. Just there, like so. We're going to go through there. And we're going to bring the needle up. And then we're going to go to the top hole that's just there. And we're going to come through the top hole just there. And this time we're going to go back through to the middle hole to come out the other side of your book like that. And what you need to do is make sure that you've got your centre piece of thread coming down through the middle of these two bits here. And you're going to pull that as tight as you can and then we're just going to tie it off. One and then I do a surgeon's knot, which is one, two, and then pull like so. And then I'm just going to cut off the excess like that. And we've got our little book all ready to sort of decorate. Now I'll show you how I do my little tabs because I have I do like to do little tabs on uh, most of my work. And that's quite easy. So you just take a scrap of card, whichever card that you want. Uh, you go about half an inch. You're going to 
squish it together and obviously that's a very technical term so you're going to squish it over like so so it makes a little tiny flap let's just bring you in a little bit closer there we go that might be a bit better for you and then we're going to trim that off like so and then while we're holding it we're going to go a snip it there and a little snip it there and then you've got a little tag shape which we can open up uh, pop in some glue like so and then we can put our thread ribbon um, or whatever cord that you want and we're going to hold that there as tight as we can like so and while we're holding that we can actually just go around the edge like that just to distress the edge and we've got a little tab and we do exactly the same again we bend that over give it a bit of a a squidge trim off the excess that we don't want cut off the corners like so a little tiny spot of glue like so put your cord string or whatever on it hold it tight give it a little bit of a squidge and then we just distress around the edge like so and then that's us finished our little book and it's just ready now to oh, it's just ready now to uh, add whatever you want to your little book one little book do hope you enjoyed watching um, me finish off the book and uh, I will hopefully see you at the next uh, YouTube video. Don't forget to su subscribe, can't even say it anymore, subscribe and ring the uh, bell icon because that will let you know when I've got the next um, video uh, for you to watch. Uh, it's been lovely to see you, thank you so much and hope you follow me. Speak to you soon. Bye.